Are camera cages necessary or just another piece of overrated gear? Have you ever wondered if you actually need a camera rig or is it just for the pros? Or maybe you know you need a camera rig and you're interested to hear some thoughts about the new Falcam camera rig system to see if it's right for you. In this video, we're covering all of that. From some uses of a camera cage that you might not have thought about, to why this Falcam cage is so particularly interesting. Maybe you want your camera grip to feel a bit more robust in your hand, and you could get a traditional camera grip to do that. One thing with a cage is you're gonna get that more robust grip, but you're also gonna get a lot more increased functionality and attachment points. Those more attachment points is the obvious use case here, but you might not have thought about using it like this. I use notes and outlines for all of these videos, and that's pretty easy to do when you're in the studio and you can have those so easily accessible. But if I'm out doing like a vlog style shot, it's like take out your phone, look at your notes, run the shot, maybe look back at your phone to get the other pieces of notes and then run the shot again. It starts to get really unnatural. And you could mount your phone on top of your camera in the hot shoe mount, but what if you have to put a mic on as well? Some of these cold shoe mounts for your phone will have additional cold shoe mounts for something like a mic, but you're pretty limited on where you can actually mount and you might start to get a little bit top heavy. Enter the camera cage. Now we have our mic and additional mounting options for something like a phone for all of your notes and plenty of options for how you wanna configure that. Camera cages are necessary tools for professional uses too. Adding grips and just overall weight can be really helpful for better handheld shots and being able to attach professional equipment like monitors is a given. I've been featuring this new Falcam cage for the Sony a7C Mark II, and it's fantastic. They make a ton of cages, links below, and they probably have one to fit whatever camera you're using. It fits the camera like a glove. I think it looks pretty cool too with this gun metal. If you care about that type of stuff, I do. But most importantly, it works extremely well. The game changer with this cage is this little quick release system that they call the F22, and it's integrated all over this cage. Let's say you want to attach this top handle. We can simply just with this quick release system, snap that into place. There's a few adjustments we can do. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. No screws or anything to mess with, just a quick attachment and also really fast to detach. And if you've attached the top handle, I bet you probably want to put a monitor on too. As long as you attach one of these F22 plates to your monitor, it's pretty fast to do that. We've got the monitor bracket here. We could put this on with these, uh, these plates. You can put them on in any direction that you want to, which is kind of nice. For this, it makes sense to go straight on. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in place. And then we're simply just going to snap the monitor right behind that. And we have a really nice little setup here. Or for some further versatility, you can take one of their magic arms that are also on that same exact F22 system. And now we have our monitor a little bit more out of the way for something like that. And to complete our build here, let's, uh, let's throw a side handle on. It's just gonna snap right here. And then, uh, yeah, let's uh, same same F22 plate here on the mic, which is really nice to have your mic on like a, a quick release system to snap that in place. And I'd say we have a pretty good rig built out. Out of everything we've talked about though, about this cage, a lot of versatile uses. One of my favorite things is this integrated plate on the bottom. It has the F22 system down there. I'm sure you can find a use for that on the bottom of the cage. It also has Falcam's F50 and F38 but it's also Arca Swiss compatible. So you can just snap this onto your favorite tripod. I'm very top heavy on this. I need a big lens here, make that a little bit better, but it's Arca Swiss compatible. So you can connect it to your favorite tripod. The only downside, and I think this is unique to the A7C Mark II design, because I've looked at the other designs. It doesn't seem to be the case, but it's this little crossbar right here. It's a minor complaint, but the reason I don't like it is that the grip on the A7C Mark II is already kind of shallow. So adding just a little bit more material there makes the grip a little bit worse. So our camera cage is necessary or just another overrated piece of gear. I think they're necessary for more uses than just professional. And let me guess, you're all excited about gear now. And this Falcam F22 quick release cage system is certainly a piece of gear to be excited about. But if you wanna see one of my favorite pieces of camera gear, besides this one, you wanna check out this video where I dive into that. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you wanna be a part of what we have going on here. We'd love to have you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. See ya.